Fans of Denis Villeneuve's Dune will be getting a sequel. The first part of director Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of Frank Herbert's iconic novel Dune has already been released in cinemas worldwide and on HBO Max in select territories. After box office success, the studio confirmed that it is moving ahead with a sequel film which will continue to adapt Herbert's novel with a swath of main cast members including Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya Dew to return after the open ending of Part 1. Villeneuve has also discussed plans to adapt further installments of Frank Herbert's saga, implying that should the second film be successful then more may follow. However, given that there have been some differences between the Dune books and his film, fans shall have to wait and see if these match up closely. Dune Part 2 is due to be released in cinemas on 20 October 2023. The film will receive a 45-day exclusivity window in the US for theaters only before then being made available to stream. This is unlike Part 1 which was made available to stream in the US on HBO Max on the same day as its theatrical release. Production company Legendary Pictures and studio Warner Brothers confirmed the sequel film Dune Part 2 in October 2021. Now that Dune's sequel has been confirmed, it appears that director Denis Villeneuve won't waste any time getting the ball rolling on a follow-up. In fact, he told IGN that he, would be very ready to go quite quickly, after getting the thumbs up from Warner Brothers, having already put a considerable amount of work into the script for the sequel. He continued, to go quickly into a movie of that size, you still need to make sets, costumes, so we are talking about months. But if ever there's enthusiasm and the movie is greenlit sooner than later, I will say that I will be ready to shoot in 2022 for sure. The first Dune movie commenced principal photography in mid-March 2019 and had wrapped by late July that same year, encompassing approximately four and a half months in total. If the sequel sticks to a similar timeline, there's every chance production could be wrapped by the end of next year, which would put it on track for a 2023 release date. While Dune Part 2 is set to complete Villeneuve's adaptation of the original book, that doesn't necessarily mean the film franchise will end there, as the director has also taken interest in tackling the sequel novel. There is Dune's second book, The Messiah of Dune aka Dune, Messiah, which could make an extraordinary film, he told CBC Radio Canada. I always saw that there could be a trilogy. After that, we'll see. It's years of work, I can't think of going further than that. We can likely expect the following cast members and characters to appear in Dune, Part 2. Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica Zendaya as Chani Josh Brolin as Gurney Halleck Stellan Skarsgård as Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. Dave Bautista as Count Glossu Rabin Harkonnen Stephen McKingley Henderson as Thufur Hawit Charlotte Rampling as Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohiam Javier Bardem as Stilgar. Austin Butler as Fade Ratha Harkonnen Florence Pugh as Princess Irulan Carino TBC as Padisha Emperor Shaddam IV Carino TBC as Alia Atreides It's all but guaranteed that Timote Chalamet and Rebecca Ferguson will return as Paul Atreides and his mother, Lady Jessica, who narrowly escaped execution in the first film. They found refuge in a Freeman tribe that counts Stilgar, Skyfall's Javier Bardem, and Chani, Spider-Man, No Way Home's Zendaya, among its number, so expect both characters to reappear in the sequel. The brutal destruction of House Atreides left the fate of some of its closest allies up in the air, but if Villeneuve stays loyal to the book then we'll likely see more from Josh Brolin, Gurney Halleck, and Stephen McKinley Henderson, Thufur Hawit too. We can likely expect returns for the villainous Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, Stellan Skarsgård, his nephew Count Glossu Rabin, Dave Bautista, and the Emperor's Truthsayer, Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohiam, Charlotte Rampling. On the other hand, there were some major deaths that will take several big characters out of the running for now, most notably Oscar Isaac's Duke Leto, Jason Momoa's Duncan Idaho and Sharon Duncan Brewster's Drive Liet Kynes. In the supporting cast, neither the traitorous Dr. Wellington Yu, Chong Chen, nor Peter de Vries, the Suicide Squad's David Dasmalchian, made it out alive, creating two more vacant positions in the large Dune Ensemble cast. It's a good thing too because Villeneuve has some important characters to introduce in Dune, Part 2, including Baron Harkonnen's capricious nephew Fade Ratha and the sinister emperor, Shaddam I.V. Carino. Another character includes Paul's unborn sister, Alia Atreides, who will likely play a major role in the sequel and was glimpsed in visions in the first film. The first Dune novel is split up into three parts, titled Dune, Mu'ai, and The Prophet respectively, with the 2021 film adaptation being an abridged version of the first two, meaning the story is far from complete. The final section of Dune is in many ways the most action-packed, as with all his complex world-building out of the way, 
Herbert is able to put more emphasis on driving his story forward. It seems like the same would be true of Villeneuve's adaptation, as the filmmaker alluded to hitting the ground running in a second movie and promising even more spectacle than the first. If such a thing is Dune, part two happens, I will say that it's going to be an insane playground for me because I had the task to explain this world to the audience, he told Variety. Now it is explained, it means I can just have fun with cinema. Picking up where the first film left off, Part 2 would likely begin with Paul and Jessica settling into their new life among the Freeman tribe C.H. Tabor. After experiencing vivid visions of Chani for some time before arriving on Arrakis, the connection between herself and Paul only grows deeper, as they become a couple and have a child together. Meanwhile, Jessica takes on the respected Bene Gesserit role of Reverend Mother for the Freeman she lives among, but doing so will require her to undergo a painful trial that threatens the life of her unborn child. As Paul quickly rises through the ranks of the Freeman to become their leader, the stage is set for an epic confrontation between his forces and those of the Harkonnens who so brutally ousted them.